Canadian secondary schools today face enormous challenges. Not only do they have to compete with technology in order to keep young people focused on their education, they're also instrumental in helping their students choose career paths in a rapidly changing world. I think that's part of our job as a secondary school is we take these students that come in in grade 9 and they're still not unsure about what they're doing with their lives and give them the knowledge and the critical thinking skills that are needed to make decisions that will shape their future. And during the past few decades, more and more Port Alberni students have sought those futures in other communities, even other provinces. But one local industry is hoping to change that trend, and they've invited educators onto their shop floor to learn about homegrown job opportunities for their students. I've lived here almost my entire life, and uh, you drive by the Catalyst Mill over and over and over again, but not really sure what's going on in these big buildings. So it was a great opportunity to learn what they're doing inside the buildings, give that back to our students and maybe make connections that we can use in our teaching. The youth of today is our employee of tomorrow. So if the teachers are better aware of what kind of job opportunities are out there for trades, engineering, etc., they could better you know, educate the children. You know, let, let the teenagers know what kind of job opportunities, when they're asking those questions at that age around grade 10, 11, what should I do? Perhaps most surprising to the teachers who spent their day at the paper mill were the types of jobs that are available in the industry. There's so much science uh, going on here and you know this is something you can pass on to both your female and male students uh, that it's a real option and there's uh, money to be made somewhere down the line. Again, it's one of those things where our students know some of the main careers, but they don't know what goes on behind the scenes, and this gives them a great opportunity for us to take that knowledge back and teach them about all these other careers that maybe they haven't thought about before. You know, you look at what it takes, you've seen our paper machines, you've been in our control rooms. Highly automated, highly computerized, very sophisticated compared to what it was maybe 30 years ago. Highly automated, highly computerized, high-tech positions, opening up in an industry not only because of its resilience in a changing economy, but also because of a changing demographic. I think as the baby boomers do get older and they showed in the, with the catalyst, the aging population, trades are a great opportunity for students, especially just the amounts of different skills that are needed out there these days. Um, at, sometimes university isn't exactly where people want to go, but trades are a great op op alternative option. We've hired 100 people in the last two years, and we anticipate the years ahead to be numbers in that kind of order of magnitude. So the, the people we hire today, at even entry level, within a few years, they start progressing through our ranks and become senior operators over time, operating these very complex areas. We're very proud, and the type of people we have and the community that we have that support us is really important, and we have a long future in the Valley. There's another trend that managers at the Catalyst Mill have noticed recently. Locals returning from the oil patch to pursue careers in their hometown. And that's a trend that benefits the entire community. In Port Alberni, I'm Nancy Wilmot.